Greetings, fellow godless rockers. I'm Steve. And I'm Tally from Monster on Sunday! Sunday! In this week's BAM vlog, we talk about why there's no such thing as atheist music. And I show you my secret vocal warm-up routine. So stay tuned for episode three of Godless Rockers. Okay, guys, so here's the deal. We're going to talk about why there's no such thing as atheist music, which I'm sure seems strange coming from a band that bills themselves as atheist hard rock. But we will explain. First, we've got to start with a very important piece of scientific data, which is that Christian music sucks. <laughs> yes, it does. And it's goddamn everywhere. There seems to be no escape these days. No matter the genre of music I'm trying to enjoy, God seems to find a way to infiltrate and assault my ears. And I'm pretty sure that I'm not alone in my frustration. For the largest helping of Christ lust lyrics, Country music has always been the staple. Drugs or Jesus. Jesus take the wheel. Real men love Jesus. However, nowadays it's unavoidable in other genres. And as we pointed out in our first episode, it's huge in rock music. Let's take a closer look at the reality of the Christian rock music industry. Yes, it's so ginormous and profitable it is in fact its own industry. Wikipedia features a list of Christian rock bands, which boasts hundreds of acts, and that's just for the basic rock category. It does not include other rock genres, such as Christian hardcore, or Christian metal, and Christian punk. Christian music is so popular, there's a radio station in every town in America. In fact, if you look on the Billboard charts, there's a top 50 for Christian music. You will not, however, find an atheist music category at all. So we atheists are completely defeated, or are we? Well, believe it or not, we have our own genre of atheist music. It may be small in comparison, but there are many artists in an array of genres who write the occasional song, or more rarely, even a full album on the topic of atheism. In fact, we atheists do have a page on Wikipedia called List of Atheists in Music, boasting hundreds of names of artists and their affiliated acts, such as David Gilmore, Frank Zappa, or Eddie Vedder. Now, just because they're atheists doesn't mean they necessarily write on the topic. Those that do are very few. That's right. So atheist music exists barely. But where can you go to listen to atheist music? Well, that is a bit of a challenge. Mainstream radio simply does not offer any such stations. Sirius XM offers no such category on their channel list, though they offer both religious and Christian categories. Hence why we say there's no such thing as atheist music, because if atheist music is out there, you wouldn't know it from listening to the radio. Even streaming services don't have much of anything available for atheist music playlists. Enter YouTube. Years ago, before Steve and I started our atheist hard rock band Monster on Sunday, I searched high and low for atheist music, and I was able to find a small handful of songs there on YouTube. In fact, if you do a quick search there today, you can choose from an array of playlists featuring hundreds of great atheist songs. It's come a long way, but there's obviously still a long way to go. The church is clearly well aware that music is one of the most powerful and influential ways to reach people, especially impressionable youth. If we want to have young people hear the message that religion is bullshit, Jesus is a lie, and that's okay to say fuck God, believe in yourself, then we need to demand that atheist music be available. I envision a future world where atheist music artists of all genres can be found on dedicated stations and channels, in all places where music can be heard. And how do you do that, you might ask? Well, it's up to all of us, the fans of godless music. We need to encourage and support these artists. Take a look at the data for yourself. Christian music is a giant corporate conglomerate beast. It's its own industry, gurgling out bad ideas to innocent listeners. And we need to fight back! We've compiled the MOS Atheist Music playlist on our YouTube channel so you can start there, discover bands and artists you enjoy, and support them. Go to their shows, buy their merch, share their music, and let them know when you appreciate a song that speaks to your non-believing heart. And if you have your own ideas for promoting atheist music into the mainstream, please comment below. Speaking of atheist artists and supporting them, 
we are working on our second album and check out some behind the scenes stuff as we get ready for album two. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm just going to show you what I do for my secret voice warm up here for uh, Monster on Sunday. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, one, five, four, five, three, five, two, five, one, five, four, five, three, two, one. I use this vocal warm up every time I'm about to sing for this band because this band is very vocally demanding. If you've heard our first album, Baby Eater, like every song on there, I I go to my uh, belting zone. Also, last week we released a bonus episode with our response to the Grammy Awards. Please remember to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on additional content, like our live videos, lyric videos, and more right here. And click here to go to our store where you can get music, merch, and more. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe so you never miss an episode. See you next Sunday at noon. We're Monster, Monster on Sunday. Sunday! Thanks for joining us on... Goddess Rockers! Rockers.